Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is finally here. My review of Attack on Titan Episode 25, the season finale, mind you, entitled Wall, Raid on Stohes District Part 3. It's finally here. It's finally fucking here. First off, I want to say, perfect episode. Hands down, it's both a perfect episode in general, and a perfect finale episode of the season, obviously. I mean, I'll, you know, I, I recently found out that Attack on Titan is get, being renewed for a second season, which, well, yeah, I kind of figured it would, because when it comes to anime, anime does not get popular as, as much as Titan has normally within just 25 episodes. Normally, that's not nearly fucking enough. Alright, for it to get this huge. So huge that the final episode actually aired in Japanese theaters. Alright. I've never heard of it happening before. I'm sure it has. I'm sure it has. I've just never heard of it before. So, yeah. Of course, it's going to be a second fucking season. Not to mention, you know, I'm actually up to where the anime is at moment right now. I'm going to get some time off. So I was going on because I cannot wait for season to come to find out what's going on, you know, fuck that. So yeah. And of course when season two starts I will review it episodically because it's fucking attack well it's well, you know, it's fucking Titan of course, but also, you know, it's just be a season one and in general I'll definitely still out most likely still be doing this then. Even the thing is, even if I wasn't still reviewing seasonals then you know, like, episodically and whatnot, I would still do Titan. But yeah. Anyway, though, now that I'm done with all that shit, let's get to the summary. Alright. Before I continue fangasming and how fucking amazing that this episode was. Okay. The Aaron, the Aaron and Annie fight... Uh, uh, Aaron and Annie fight each other as Titans th throughout... throughout... Has, causing destruction and casualties while Hanji orders her men to stand by to, to stand by before they capture Annie. Meanwhile, Erwin tells Niall he will as accept responsibility for the damage his plan has caused, for which Niall has Erwin arrested while the military police help evacuate the citizens. It's actually kind of funny because Niall was originally planning on just shooting the fucking panel. He was, he, he was, he was going to call all the bullshit and just shoot Erwin down. I'm glad he didn't because Erwin's a pretty awesome, a, a pretty fucking cool character. Alright, but he was originally planning on just shooting him down, but then Erwin said something along the lines of, you know, if you do that, then you'll have to take responsibility not only for the damages done, but also for leading the survey corps. And that kind of convinced him to just arrest Erwin instead. You know, I'm surprised that, uh, I'm surprised that Levy didn't say something, though, because he usually, he's usually the type, he, you would think he'd be the type to try to save his commander. By the way, we still haven't got to see Erwin in action yet. I really hope that later on we get to see Erwin in action, because, like, really, if he's able to lead Levy, then think of how fucking skilled that he must be. Like, really, that must be fucking awesome. Like, take, like it, it'd be the type of skill of taking on, like, an, un an entire army of colossal titans at once without getting a single scratch on you, you know? <clears throat> anyway, as Eren gets more brutal with his attacks, yeah, brutal, as in literally tearing Annie's titan form to fucking shreds, alright... Annie desperately fights him off and attempts to escape by climbing up Wall Cena. However, Mikasa cuts off Annie's tightened fingers, sending her falling. As Annie falls, she remembers her father asking for forgiveness, telling her to hate the world and ask her to promise him she will come back home. That's also something that's not resolved just yet either, but it does... That, there's so many reasons why I still want to continue reading the manga, um, but it does seem really interesting about Annie's past. I really hope later on we get more insight into it. So, yeah. 
When it appears Aaron is about to eat Annie, he stops once he sees her crying and her body starts encasing itself in ice. As Aaron recuperates, he admits to Mikasa, Jean, and Armin that he allowed Annie to get himself frozen. To, to get herself frozen. As Jean and Annie wonder if sacrificing their humanity to defeat the Titans is worth the price, Erwin attends a government inquiry. Er er Erwin reveals he kept his plan secret to pre prevent leaks and despite the deaths of and casualties of his plan and how they cannot get any information from Annie now that she is frozen. She is proof that there are humans that can turn into titans living within the walls and he plans to find and use them to launch a counterattack against the titans. In the end, Erwin is acquitted. Aaron says with the recon corpse, stays with the recon corpse and Annie is put under the corpse custody. The epilogue, a piece of wall scene of falls, and of it is a very large type. And that sums up what happened in this episode. Oh boy, now, I have to talk about it. All the reviewers are talking about it, so I have to talk about it too. In the manga, that ended the credits with the, uh, at night time with the, uh, Titan Pier to peering through Walsina. That happened a little, that still happened in the manga, but it happened differently. In the manga, it happened during, in da at daytime, when everyone was still with her prey, and Mikasa was actually on the wall, and she, and she witnessed it. Alright. I don't, so yeah, it did happen a little bit differently. I have no fucking idea why they changed it, but it, uh, it doesn't really seem to me or it'll, it'll really matter. Like, people are getting pissed about this, and I don't see why. To me, it really doesn't seem like it'll matter at all. At all. All right. So I just wanted to mention that there. So, what do I have to say about this episode? Animation perfect all the way through. Music perfect all the way through. Um, the f action perfect all the way through. And I love freaking Aaron Titan. Uh, Aaron Marley in his Titan form bursting into flames. Which makes me wonder: Does every human who can turn into a Titan have a special ability like? With Annie, she has ice, so with Aaron, maybe it's fire and whatnot. And then the armored and colossal titans would be the same, because, yes, I have heard that they are... I have heard that they are actually humans and titans. I heard that, uh... I heard that, uh, the armored titan is Reiner. Um... You know what, now I don't remember who the... I heard that the colossal titan was, though, but still. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, and in terms of that titan wall, kind of, it kind of, I, I thought it was a colossal titan at first, but colossal titan's way fucking huger, so there's no way it could be that. Maybe it's, and it can't be the armored titan, the armored titan's face, I'm pretty sure it looks way different than that, so, maybe it's like a new type of titan that we haven't seen yet, that's actually kind of an interesting theory right there. So, yeah, um... was just made perfect, like it really was. Alright, it left it has an open ended an an open ended ending, obviously. Like people were complaining that it was kind of rushed. And of course it was a rushed ending. Actually, ending you know. Obviously which is out is good because we're I imagine that they would want to wait for the manga to way Um, you know, so that it, the anime doesn't catch up with the manga, or even let it finish. I mean, I, I honestly wouldn't mind if they waited. Like, some suspect that it's going, the manga is going to end in three years. So I don't, know, or more. So I honestly wouldn't mind them waiting that long until we get a second season, because there, by that time, there'll probably be so much material that we we'll, could possibly even get a third season. And if that happened, of course, that'd be really fucking awesome. So, yeah. But, anyways, uh, I'm done. I'm done with this, uh, episode rating, rating overall. <laughs> fucking perfect, amazing, incredible. God. 
Yeah. That stuff. Um. So yeah. Anyways, I'm fine. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.